Hey guys, I'm Mr. Ziegler. We're going to be talking about using symbols when we're talking about naming segments and arrays. Now, you've already learned how to name lines and segments and arrays uh, in the past, um, but what we need to do is focus on the symbols because we need to communicate to our audience what part of the line that we're talking about, specifically when we're uh, getting into segments and arrays. So, for instance, uh, we know when we name a line that we use this symbol above um, the name of the line where we have the two arrows at the ends. Okay, and that tells us that we're going through and beyond those points because a line goes forever in both directions. So, for instance, this line at the very top, we could name that line A, B, or B, A. It doesn't matter which order we're going, but those arrows at the top tell us that we're going through those points below it. We're going through A and we're going through B. So, when we name segments then, we use this line above the name of the segment where we don't have the arrows at the end because that tells us that we have some endpoints there, that we're stopping at those points. So for instance, if we wanted to go just from A to B and that line segment, well, we could name that segment A, B, or B, A, but notice above we use a bar with no arrows because we're stopping at A and stopping at B. There are endpoints there. So then when we get to array then, well, array has kind of a combination of both. We have an endpoint on one end and then we have, uh, we're going through another point and on forever, uh, the other in one direction. So this really tells us directionality, okay? So we need to use that arrow above when we name array to tell us which direction we're going is very important. So for instance, if we wanted to go uh, this ray and we wanted to talk about this ray going from A through B and on forever, we're going to the right. Well, we would name that AB where we have uh, no symbol above A but we have the arrow above B. And if we wanted to go the other way and go from B through A, well, we would just name it kind of the same way where we have an endpoint uh, designation at B going through A. Um, so direction does matter here. Now notice that we, the symbols, we always point to the right. When we're, when we're talking about name and array, we always point that to the right. And then we just switch the letters around to say which letters de designate the endpoints and which direction we're going.